Good day grade 10s. Today we're going to look at our financial statements and we're specifically going to look at the introduction of um, the financial statements. So we're going to break it up um, in a few parts. The first part is our income statement and you will see that the income statement is actually uh, the trading account plus the profit and loss account. Now in the trading account we have sales cost of sales and gross profit then we transfer the gross profit to the profit and loss where we're going to add all the income accounts and subtract all the expenses um, in the income statement the interest is just separate um, because there are three types of interest that we're going to do so we will have a note for our interest income and we will have a note for our interest expense so we will first do the notes of these two, transfer it to our income statement and then at the end we will get a final amount here which will be our profit or like in this case it was a loss. That is just an overview of our income statement. The next part is our balance sheet. Now the balance sheet is actually the accounting equation because you sit here with assets which is the top part of your balance sheet and the bottom part which is here just on the right hand side is your equity plus liabilities which is the other side of your equal sign so when you finish with your balance sheet these two parts need to be as the same like in this case that amount and that amount needs to be the same but in order to come to those two amounts that needs to be the same you first need to do um, all the notes or all the info inside. So you have three notes here, which is as which is uh, the debtors, inventories, and cash. And there is the three notes and how we're going to get to those answers. Then we also have another note, fixed assets, that I will show you just now. Then we have on the other side, we have uh, equity and liabilities where we have two notes. There's your owner's equity, how we're going to do that. And there's your trading creditors, how we're going to do that. And then I just want to show you what the fixed asset note is. There you can see it's quite a number of figures that we have to um, learn how to do that. So that is more or less just an overview of what your income statement and balance sheet is going to look like.